Welcome to Singularity Vault, the gateway to the past, present, and future of science and engineering. Today, we're delving into the ambitious frontier of creating a permanent settlement on Mars. Before we dive in, make sure to like this video, subscribe and ring the bell to stay in the loop with our latest explorations into the world of science and engineering. Now, let's unlock the mysteries together. Imagine this. A bustling town with shops, hotels, and farms. Not on Earth, but on Mars. This isn't a scene from a science fiction novel, but a plausible future that scientists and engineers are working towards. Picture a world where the crimson plains of Mars are dotted with human habitats, where people are living and working, creating a society that bridges the gap between science fiction and reality. This is the ultimate goal of Mars colonization, a concept that might sound far-fetched now but is steadily moving from the realm of imagination into the realm of possibility. Now you might be asking, why Mars? Well, the answer lies in the unique opportunities that the red planet presents. For one, Mars is our closest neighbor that offers conditions where, with some innovation and adaptation, humans could potentially live. It's a new frontier, a place where we can stretch the limits of our technology and our courage to explore. But the potential benefits of Mars colonization extend beyond exploration. From a scientific perspective, establishing a base on Mars would offer unparalleled opportunities for research. We could study the planet's geology and climate, search for signs of past or present life, and learn more about the universe and our place in it. Additionally, Mars could potentially offer economic benefits. As we'll delve into later, establishing a human presence on Mars could open up new industries, from mining to tourism. Yes, you heard it right. Martian vacations might be a thing in the future. However, colonizing Mars is not without its challenges. We'll need to develop new technologies and systems to make living on Mars feasible and sustainable. From life support systems to habitat construction, resource extraction to energy production, there's a lot of engineering work to be done. And of course, there's the question of profitability. Can a Martian colony be economically viable? That's a complex question that we'll be exploring in depth. So, why Mars? Well, as we'll discover, the Red Planet presents a unique opportunity for scientific discovery, human exploration, and possibly even economic growth. So stick around as we delve into the fascinating world of Mars colonization. Now, let's talk money. Is a Martian colony a pipe dream or a potential gold mine? Picture this, a bustling Martian economy with goods and services flowing between Earth and Mars. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, there's more to it than meets the eye. As it turns out, Mars is rich in resources that could potentially fuel new industries. The Martian soil, or regolith, contains a wealth of elements such as silicon, iron, and titanium. These could be used to manufacture everything from habitats to tools and equipment. The planet's thin atmosphere also holds carbon dioxide, which can be converted into fuel, and there is evidence of water ice beneath the surface a vital resource for life support systems and potentially for creating rocket propellant. But it's not all about what Mars can offer us in terms of raw materials. The Red Planet also represents an untapped market. Think about it. Every settler will need food, clothing, shelter, entertainment. The list goes on. This could open up a myriad of business opportunities, from Martian agriculture and manufacturing to hospitality and tourism. However, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Establishing a profitable Martian economy is not without its challenges. The cost of transporting goods and people between Earth and Mars is astronomical, pun intended. Resource extraction and manufacturing will require advanced robotics and automation, which are still in the early stages of development. Moreover, the harsh Martian environment poses considerable risks to human health and infrastructure. So, is Mars colonization a viable economic venture? Well, it's too early to say. The initial investment is substantial and the return is uncertain. But as technologies advance and costs come down, the scales could tip in favor of Martian economics. There's also the intangible value to consider. The sense of adventure, the thrill of exploration, the pride in human achievement. Can you really put a price tag on that? As you can see, the economics of Mars colonization is a complex puzzle, but one that could potentially yield significant rewards. So. Let's keep our eyes on the stars and our wallets ready, because the next frontier of economic opportunity 
might just be a rocket ride away. Turning a harsh alien world into a human habitat requires some pretty impressive technology. To transform Mars from a barren desert into a bustling hub of human activity, there are several essential technologies we need to master. Let's start with life support systems. Picture this, a closed loop system that recycles air, water, and waste. It's not just about recycling though. These systems need to be robust, self-sufficient, and capable of operating in the harsh Martian environment. Picture a high-tech terrarium where we are the inhabitants and our survival depends on the efficiency of these systems. Next, we have habitat construction. We're not talking about pitching a tent on Mars. We're talking about constructing habitats that protect us from extreme temperatures, deadly radiation, and the thin Martian atmosphere. We need to build structures that are not only safe but also comfortable for long-term living. Imagine erecting inflatable habitats or even 3D printing structures using Martian soil. It's like building sandcastles but on a whole new level. Resource extraction is another key technology. Mars may be a desert, but it's not devoid of resources. We need technology capable of extracting water from the Martian soil and mining raw materials for construction and manufacturing. It's like a high-stakes treasure hunt where the prize is survival and self-sufficiency. Finally, let's talk about energy generation. Mars is a lot further from the Sun than Earth, which makes solar power less effective. We need to develop efficient energy generation and storage systems that can withstand the Martian climate. Think advanced nuclear power systems or harnessing the power of Martian winds. It's like setting up a power grid on a whole new planet. These technologies form the backbone of a Martian colony. But how close are we really to making this a reality? Let's take a look at where we stand today in terms of the technology needed for Mars colonization. First up, is space travel. Thanks to the likes of SpaceX and NASA, we've seen leaps and bounds in rocket technology. Reusable rockets are now the norm, not the exception, slashing the cost of reaching orbit. We've also got spacecraft like the Starship, designed specifically to ferry humans and cargo to Mars and back. It's an exciting time, and it's only getting better. Next, let's talk about robotics. Rovers like Perseverance and Curiosity have been doing the groundwork on Mars for years collecting data and performing experiments. There are eyes and hands on the red planet, paving the way for human explorers. And it's not just rovers. We're developing robotics for construction, maintenance, and even agriculture. These mechanical marvels will be crucial to establishing a permanent presence on Mars. Now let's not forget about life support systems. We've made considerable progress in this area too. The International Space Station has given us a real-life testing ground for systems that recycle air and water and turn waste into resources. These systems are getting more efficient and reliable by the day. We're also exploring ways to extract water from the Martian soil and atmosphere, a crucial step towards self-sufficiency. But what about energy? Well, solar power is a promising candidate, even if it's less effective than on Earth. Mars gets plenty of sunshine, and solar panels have proven reliable on other Martian missions. Nuclear power is another option, offering a steady, powerful energy source that doesn't rely on the weather, like dust storms. It's a thrilling time in the world of technology. We're seeing advancements and innovations that were once the stuff of science fiction. As we stand on the precipice of a new era, it's clear that the dream of colonizing Mars is closer than ever. While we've made significant strides, there is still a long road ahead. Let's explore what the future holds. The future of Mars colonization is a fascinating blend of current research and visionary ideas. Let's take a moment to appreciate how far we've come, yet marvel at the road that lies ahead. One of the most ambitious projects in the works is terraforming, the process of altering the Martian environment to make it Earth-like. It's a concept straight out of science fiction, but with the relentless pace of innovation, it might just become a reality. Next up, we have advanced propulsion systems. The journey to Mars is long and arduous, but imagine if we could cut that travel time in half, or even more. Concepts like antimatter engines, nuclear propulsion, and ion drives are all being researched as potential game changers for space travel. And let's not forget about other cutting-edge technologies that are still in their infancy, like autonomous robots for construction and maintenance, or advanced life support systems that recycle everything from water to air. With these future technologies, 
the dream of a permanent Mars settlement seems closer than ever before. Our journey today has taken us from the motivations for Mars colonization to the economic and technological challenges it presents. We've explored the incredible potential of turning Mars into a profitable frontier and delved into the groundbreaking technologies that will support life on a planet millions of miles away. We've looked at where we are now and where we need to be in terms of technological advancements and even touched on the thrilling future technologies that are still in the realm of research and development. Each step of this journey has been a testament to human ingenuity, resilience, and our unquenchable thirst for exploration. As we stand on the precipice of this new frontier, there's a sense of anticipation and exhilaration. The dream of a permanent settlement on Mars represents one of the most fascinating frontiers of human exploration. What are your thoughts on this exciting endeavor? Share your ideas in the comments below, and let's continue this journey together.